Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Nate Moore. This is Excel Video 217. I spent last week consulting with the group in Indiana adding a whole bunch of reports for their payables people and their scheduling people and their uh, accounts receivable people, bill charges, stuff like that. When you're ready to do things like that for your organization, please call. What we're going to do today is play with some numbers and some dates that I've got set up here because what I want to show you is this number area. We're going to start on that today. And let's just uh, let's start with the icons. Let's that that'll make it easy. I have five thousand here, and if you wanted to put a dollar sign in front of that, it's easy to click this button here. And again, if you hover, it'll show you accounting number format, and you can put a dollar sign in front. It adds a decimal and room for pennies and all that good stuff. If you've got this number and you want to make it a percentage, it's easy to do that and make it a percentage, or you can just add a comma without adding the dollar sign. You can add the comma and put a comma in the number. So if you get a long number, it's easier to read. What I have here, if you ever care, there, there's even if you don't care, this is still the function. There's a function called pi, and this will give you pi. So if you're trying to calculate, you know, the diameter or, or uh, the area of a circle, this equals pi will give you pi. And if you want to change the number of decimal places, that's why I'm playing with pi. That's what these guys down here do. If you hover over, they said, hey, this will increase decimal and this will decrease decimal. And let me show you what that means. Decrease decimal is going to do this. And the number that's stored here is still 3.1416, all that good stuff. It's just how many decimals or places after the decimal are we displaying. If you multiply this times 1,000, you're still going to get that number even if you're only showing 3.14. You're not rounding. You're just showing how many decimals display. And it's a really quick way to get from 3 all the way up to however many you want. Those are the main icons. Get you a dollar sign, get you the comma, change the percentage, and then change the number of places after a decimal. So here we could easily do something like this and do 5.352 or just 5.35 or 5.4 with these. The other thing I wanted to start showing you today is notice when I hover over, when I click on, excuse me, when I click on this, I get this is set up as accounting, this is percentage, this is a number, this is a date. So we've got that. Let's click on date. So now, okay, yeah, I know it's a date. And then you can do short date like it is. Or there's long date. It'll show you that Sunday, December 25th. Or we can go back to short date. And it's easy to flip in between them. And then here's a time one and there's percentage. Let me show you how, if we click here, how fraction works. If you want to show a fraction there, as a, instead of point, if we go back to general here, instead of point six, you can show a fraction and that'll all work. Those are good for well, 80, 85, maybe even 90% of the time. These icons and this drop down works. Works just fine. When you need more flexibility than that, let's see, let's just click on this guy. What you can do is click on more number formats and you'll get a window that looks like this. Then from here, here are the general categories that we saw over there and then with a number, you'll see a little bit of flexibility. Say, hey, do I want the thousand separator? So if I do that, now I'm going to get the comma there. And if I do, if we come down here, um, there's currency and accounting. And uh, let's play with one last thing in this video. Let's do the 5,000 again, and I'll show you one more thing. What we're going to do is we're going to come here and say, all right, you to be accounting, and let's say you are currency. And you say, well, what's the difference? Hey, there's a dollar sign, the 5,000. What's the difference? And let's shrink this up just a little bit and then drag this out just a little bit. The difference between currency and accounting is just where the dollar sign is. See how currency is right next to the 5, where accounting is all the way to the left of the cell? That's the difference between currency and accounting. And you can go down through here and see how many decimal places and which symbol you want to use and stuff like that. These are the basics. When you want to get fancy, stay tuned next time. If you go down past here, um, special will let you format things so you can do zip codes and phone numbers and socials with the dashes in. What I really want to show you next time is this. We'll do custom next time where you can do custom number formats, which occasionally are very, very helpful, especially when you're dealing with dates and times. Stay tuned next time. We'll go through that. Thanks for watching.